Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on May 20th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. Yesterday we showed that large plasma filament ejecting from the surface and today we have another one building in the the western limb there turning in we have another big plasma filament building looking at the last 48 hours incoming we do have uh, that very large sunspot that i've been focusing on all week getting ready for the earth for earth facing time last 48 hours outgoing we did have a big CME blast on the backside of the sun. Not really sure what happened, but there was a large coronal mass ejection detected on Lasco. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, seems to be only sunspot regions in the south. Now, yesterday there were 11, and today there are 7. We also have a coronal hole in the northern hemisphere, and as well, pretty complex region in the southern hemisphere, coronal hole ahead of that big plasma filament, big plasma prominence, otherwise known as. 171 angstroms here, just another amazing way to look at our sun, nice safe way and amazing visuals. Thank you all for tuning in today. This is brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, having a look at seven sunspot regions. Another way to see these sunspot regions in action as they are in fluid motion all the time, sometimes quickly growing like that center sunspot region. You can see it just shooting across the surface. And as well, that large black hole spiraling almost like a hurricane. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of. Solar winds are coming in at 405 kilometers per second right now still slightly elevated solar x-ray flux is still only showing three m-class solar flares from yesterday minor m-class solar flares minor c-class solar flare just today geomagnetic activity hopping down to a kp1 so all is calm for space weather right now our sun is pretty quiet compared to what it has been recently those active sunspots now just produced a large coronal mass ejection on the back side of the sun. No new models here for Space Weather Prediction Center for CMEs heading our way. ISWA Space Prediction here showing that large CME taking off towards Venus. Big blast there and fast moving here with the forecast. Little yellow circle is planet Earth. Then, as I said, Lasco 2 and 3 are showing a large halo corona mass ejection, and there it is on the back side of the sun as Mercury and Venus are passing by in visuals here with Lasco 2 and 3. Lasco corona gaff, the sun is behind here, and that is all the space weather events just from the last two days. Big halo CME, backside of the sun. Amazing images. Now let's get to earthquakes as quite a situation here. Very deep earthquakes. You can see that very long elevated ring here in the Fiji region. 613 kilometer depth, 4.6. That is a very deep earthquake for the region. And we have not seen such deep activity since the space weather event that we went through last week. Notable earthquake here, Japan Islands, Bonin Islands, another very deep 450 kilometer depth. Mariana's Trench activating as well. USGS reporting under 300 earthquakes, 24 hour period. Things have calmed down in Hawaii somewhat. Still rocking all through the Aleutian Islands. Some new activity here through parts of northern China. Tibetan Plateau, Kashgar, China, 5.1 magnitude earthquake. And as well, notable earthquakes here at a pretty scary place there. Mount Vesuvius, right off the coast there in Italy, 
4.2 and 4.1 magnitude earthquakes reported there just today. Notable activity, South America, Peru, as well here, the California uh, border with Mexico, Octillo Wells, California, 4.1 magnitude and as well 3.8 in Oregon. Inuvik, Canada, 3.7. They don't really show Earthquakes Canada, but here on Earthquakes Canada site, you can have a look. And this is showing the last 28 days for earthquakes. There's not much to talk about through Canada. Most of the activity is on the West Coast, but notable there, earthquake through uh, BC, central BC, last month. And as well, notable earthquake here, 3.2, Hawkesbury, Ontario, just northeast of Ottawa. So regular minor seismicity all through this region. It is frequent and duly noted. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And just a heads up, we do expect a larger shadow earthquake to follow these very deep penetrating earthquakes that we've just had in the Fiji region, Bonin Islands, and as well. Afghanistan up into parts of northern China, the Tibetan Plateau. This is a browse at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And again, I want to thank you all for watching tonight, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for over 77,000 followers visiting here in Ottawa and welcome all of the new Ottawa viewers as I've been sharing the channel on the streets. Welcome to Daily Events Worldwide. Heads up, West Coast, Juan de Fuca. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, brought to you by the 49 active and erupting volcanoes around the world, active through Mexico and as well Central South America, New Caledonia, around the rest of the world. Active volcanoes through Central Africa and very sulfuric area of Johannesburg in South Africa. We've also got huge fires that are burning across northern Russia and central Russia. Active and erupting volcanoes through Kamchatka. There's a large plume of wildfire smoke and as well volcanic ash coming off of Kamchatka. Big low pressure center sucking that across the northern Pacific right now. Having a look at satellite imagery is showing the wildfires through parts of eastern Russia and hot spots that continue to come through here on satellite imagery with NASA Worldview. You can see the scarred earth there from the wildfires that have been burning here for the last little bit. Overlooking California, it's been pretty dry. Luckily, no wildfires yet. And things have calmed down in parts of northern Alberta and BC, and as well the border with Nunavut, and Yellowknife. Having a look here, I wanted to show you satellite imagery of those huge storms that uh, raked across Oklahoma last night. Two very large active systems rolling into one another. And I do believe there was an F3 tornado that was touched down and confirmed. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected by this monstrous storm. Kind of looks like a derecho, which happens every so often but not often. Having a look here, a world weather forecast starting in North America, big low pressure system here affecting um, central Canada and as well the Great Lakes region. Multiple days of uh, pop-up and possible thunderstorms, especially into the long range, 26th into the 27th, and then towards the end of the month, watch for all this weather to mostly affect eastern Canada, 
in as well the Atlantic provinces, dry, uh, dry across the west, overlooking Europe, one low pressure system scooting away over the next couple days, and then high pressure ridge domination for a little bit. Still expecting lots of snow through uh, northern Russia with those huge low pressure systems I noted yesterday. Still lots of rain and a windy situation heading towards New Zealand. Same thing for parts of eastern India and Myanmar. Possible tropical cyclone in the long range but not showing formation here. Just looks like it's going to continue to be a very strong low. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love, good night, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.